Hello, Raider Nation. This is Mrs. Coulard, one of your Atlee School counselors welcoming you back to school. We look forward to working with you all this year. We've put together a brief presentation to assist you with understanding what to expect and how you can make the option that you have chosen work best for you. No matter the setting you're working in, there are some key gears that will get you moving in the right direction. Gaining an understanding of the new routines and settings in both face-to-face -face and online learning environments will be key. We will share roles of the school counseling staff and highlight how you can stay connected in your 2021 school year. Let's get started with what setting you will be learning in this year. Our traditional face-to-face -face setting will have some new practices to help with learning and maintaining a healthy school community. The most obvious practice will be the expectation that you will wear a mask at all times during the school day, with the exception of while you are eating. We know that this may be challenging at times. Now is a good time to go ahead and start extending the time that you wear your mask each day, leading up to the start of school. Find the mask that works best for you and purchase a couple of those masks. It is even a good idea to bring a spare or even two with you when you come to school each day. The next practice will be only using your own materials. Raiders are great with sharing, but with this current environment, we ask that you do not share so that we can maintain a safe and sanitized environment. The admin team is working on a video to explain how they are trying to limit congestion in the hallways by assigning one-way halls. Arrows will be placed on the floor to assist you with learning the new traffic flow as well as reviewing of these patterns the first few weeks of school by your teachers. Most halls will be one way, but there will be a few exceptions to that. Lunch locations will be shared by your third block teacher on the first day of school. This will be an evolving process and more information will be available soon. Students needing to purchase lunch will be given the opportunity to do so. During the school day, you are asked to maintain a six foot physical distance as much as possible as you move throughout the building and in your classrooms. Signs have been placed in all restrooms reminding you to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. And lastly, bringing your own hand sanitizer and or wipes can help you when you are not at the restroom. Next up, virtual school, where the responsibility falls on you to create the environment where you learn best. Here are a few suggestions to help you differentiate between downtime and school time. Identify a specific space where you can work each day that is free of distractions. Telephones, TVs, family members, they can be a distraction. Dress for success. We all love comfortable clothes, but taking the action of brushing one's teeth and all of your morning routine that you would do on a typical face-to-face -face school day or workday will help you shift gears to get your mind ready for the schoolwork to be done. So get changed out of those PJs and into another set of clothes for the school day. Check out what's behind you and your lighting situation in any virtual Zoom or Google meeting so that you know that you're gonna be able to be seen and that people are gonna hear you. This is a great way to start practicing for future job interviews that may be virtual and get you thinking about first impressions based upon your work area. Obtain a set of headphones. Also, ensure that you have all of the necessary materials located in the learning space. Maybe even continue to utilize that backpack that you got for last school year. Utilize a book bag stocked with writing materials and your device. Binders for materials may help you stay organized and keep you moving towards success. Now that you're more familiar with what to plan for your learning setting, let's talk about creating a daily routine. Regardless of your learning setting, creating a consistent wake up time and morning routine is crucial in getting you prepared for your day. You also need to consider making a commitment to a consistent bedtime. Getting the proper amount of sleep will allow your body to recover and be ready for the next day's events. You are actually in a stage of development where you need the most sleep. Please make sure that you're getting that. Let's discuss some factors to consider in the face-to-face -face daily routine. For your morning routine, notice any changes in your health and have a thermometer handy if you are in doubt. Check in with an adult at home if possible and stay home if you are unwell. Quick attention to these things can lead to better outcomes with your health. 
arrival. All students, regardless of transportation style, will report directly to their first block class upon arrival. That time should be no earlier than 8.45 a.m. Those being dropped off by car have been assigned a drop-off time based upon the first letter of your last name. For students with last names beginning with the letters A through M, you will arrive between 8.45 and 8.55. Students with the last names beginning with the letters N through Z will arrive between 8.55 and 9.05. Class changes. Students will be dismissed and will utilize arrows on the floor of the hallways to know which direction to circulate through the hallways to their next class. The expectation is that you will leave one class and report directly to the next, keeping a safe distance of six feet apart. Lunch, as we mentioned earlier, will be done during third block, and it is an evolving process. We are working to make this a nice break for you while maintaining social distance. For dismissal, if you are riding a bus, there will be two bus waves. If you are being picked up, you will be dismissed by the first letter of your last name, just like you did when you arrived in the morning. Some things to consider for your evening routine when you arrive home after being at school. We encourage you to wipe down your book bag and purse upon arrival at home. You'll want to place your mask in the wash if it's machine washable. If not, just make sure that you wash it each day so that you're not carrying germs back and forth. Pack your new or clean mask with your school materials each evening. This will help you avoid forgetting them and not having it when you arrive at school. Review your assignments and create a plan to get them done by the next class block. Attending Hanover's online school or OWL routine is important for you as well. So the Hanover online school will have a daily routine that they will want you to follow as well. For arrival, this will be attending your Zoom or Google meetings. So we would want you to make sure that ahead of time you've checked your internet and that it's up and running and that you have your space ready to go. You'll want to do this before the start time so that you're not late to your first meeting. Allow at least 15 minutes prior to the official start time. We'll give you a cushion just in case you run into some difficulties. Log in to Zoom and into the meeting at least five minutes ahead of time. You can hang out in the waiting room until your teacher's ready for you. Transitions between blocks. The online school has built in a transition time between the start of each block where you can take a break. Do not feel like you have to power through without breaks. Your brain will thank you. You will also need to take a break from screens from time to time. So instead of picking up your cell phone, take a quick walk, pet your dog, shoot some hoops, have a talk with a family member. These are just some ideas, but remember, take a break from the screen every once in a while. Eating a healthy lunch will fuel your day. The online schedule allows for a break for lunch, followed by opportunities for one-on-one -on -one and small group meetings for extra assistance with teachers. Dismissal time for online school should be considered as well. Your day may not end with the traditional bell ringing, but be sure to maintain the routine of finishing up by 4 p.m. You may have some assignments that will need to be done outside of that online schedule just like you do in face-to-face -face school, but give yourself a break by four and do something unrelated to school. Things to consider including into your daily routine would be reviewing what assignments you have and when they are due, creating a plan to get them done by the due dates and utilizing a planner or calendar or even a to-do list. One of the perks of creating your own learning space is that you can allow for more flexibility. Feel like standing and working? Go for it. Want to bounce on a ball while reading? Have at it. Need to click a pen? Click away. As long as you can maintain focus and attention on the task at hand, you can get as creative as you'd like with your workspace and strategies to keep you focused and learning. Your school counselors are here for you to support your learning no matter what setting you have selected for this school year. In all environments, it is important for you to continue to be self motivated study hard, and put forth your best effort. You've got this, and we've got your back. New this year, when you sign up to see your counselor, we will send you a message in Schoology with your appointment date and time. You will show this message to your teacher and report to the counseling office at your assigned time. We will not be sending passes this year. We will use Schoology instead.
In closing, you are all so important to the faculty and staff here at Atlee. We want you to be in the know about the events and activities. Please keep plugged in to our social media accounts, and most importantly, check your Schoology courses for Atlee High School. Turn on those notifications, because as we move forward, we will be pushing out more information. You will want to continue to be involved in activities as a student body, how to access career information, and community opportunities. Once again, you are all extremely important to us, and we are really excited to see you, whether that's virtually or face-to-face. -face. We love you guys.